look quite small next to you. It's like my chair. The whole DX Racer thing. When we talk about it, now people know it's not an exaggeration. Well, it's recording, so I don't know. Hopefully the audio is fine. It sounded good yesterday, so... Maybe this person edited it out, maybe it doesn't. Hi, guys! Hello. Hi, it's like checking my hand instead of your face. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> it's weird. Anyways, uh, we went to do one of these, like, I think at the start of MLG, but we got some cut up with all the crazy shit that went on. Rifkin, by the way. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. My first live event. I know it wasn't yours, or at least not your first funny show. What was your uh, verdicts? Well, I met Jadon, so it was like 100%. So you're like, it doesn't matter what else happens. You're just like, fucking yeah. Jadon. Yeah, like, Pretty much. I thought those tasted like shoes. Those actually are the worst tasting. I was like confused at first, but then I tried them again and I was like, no. You had to cleanse your palate, was that the? Yeah, I guess so. These are like doable. Yeah, uh, for those who don't know, all dressed chips, Canadian brands. At least better than ketchup chips, which are really gross. They got this weird thing where like the first couple you have on is they're not gonna be that good, but then you just like can't stop eating them. <laughs> it's like chips. Yeah, I guess chips in general, that's pretty, pretty much accurate. Yeah, I don't know, MLG was a bit of a whirlwind of emotions for me for you'll probably hear me complain about this on stream for the next couple weeks guys uh there's a lot of instances where we go up to people and meet them and everybody knew zombie <laughs> nobody recognized me in the slightest um except for one instance with rotterdam that was really cool for me because it was the end of the weekend we finally got to meet rotterdam we bumped into him and he's like oh rifkin and he shakes my hand it was really cool and it's not even like, oh, I don't remember your name. He's like, oh, and who are you? <laughs> it's a zombie girl. I was like, yeah! <laughs> the small victories that count. But I don't know, yeah, Jadong for her, I get to meet a lot of the players. It's pretty cool. The event, though, was kind of a bit of a mess, huh? The spectators, you never really notice. Well, I was just, I don't know if it was because we were casters on the side. I was just really bummed there was no uh, open brackets being covered. Well, like, there's so many good games that we, we got to see that, like, nobody else is going to. Like, Jadon vs. Bombers lost forever in replays, if those ever get released. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I don't know. I went to IM New York, and I went to MLG Raleigh. And, like, MLG Raleigh, I didn't have a player pass either. But... I like people on the inside. But, like, always were coming over and, like, asking me and I could ask them questions. This time I didn't really have that. Yeah, they're pretty stuck to computers. But they were also running, like, four hours behind, so you can't blame them. They didn't rush, right? I, I think mean, like, the... I think for me, the, the highlight of all the StarCraft related stuff was when we were hyping the crowd. That yeah. was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, but they never really do it when I post her. So mad. Oh, for the bolt one? Yeah. yeah. I should have outlined it, like... By the way, guys, you're not going to know what we're talking about right now, but we did a bunch of cheerfuls, so we bought, like, all these, like, white cards. Uh, Gillyweed will be putting it on our YouTube probably at some point, so you can check out all the ones we made there. Probably put, like, an annotation somewhere, like, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Overall experience, I'd say, with uh, meeting players, 10 out of 10. 100% for me. Um, meeting new faces, also 100%, because a lot of the new faces I've met were really nice people who I mean, didn't know, but were, like, still in love with StarCraft. The event itself was like maybe a 5 out of 10 for me, except for the last day, which was pretty good. Everything improved on the last day. Like, Katz's casting kicked ass, it was on point. Um, you could feel the passion through everybody. There was like the crowd thing we did, <laughs> like just mentioned, it was so fun. Um, for context, for those who don't know, we gathered seriously like 20 something people, and for the first half of the day, at least until Scarlet got knocked out, the whole middle row of MLG was us, and we were just like, all, all right, everybody, everybody, pult, 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 pult. And like, uh, I'm sure you guys probably heard on the stream if you're watching. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So what about me? What was, how was meeting me like? Expected? Weird? Who the fuck's this guy? I don't know. I mean, it's always weird to see people like below the, the three-quarter view. So if I come at you as a bus, you would have been like, oh, Rifkin, what's up? Yeah, exactly. But you know, like, I, can, I can kind of relate to that. Uh, like, for you, I look that's at... What, that's all like, you know, people are too short, people are too tall in esports, because you can never tell on stream. It's weird for me, because like, you know, uh, for those who don't know the dynamic when we cast, I can see her camera at all times. Granted, I'm usually not looking at it, but I can see it at all times. She's never able to see my camera. So my face, I kind of was worried to be so foreign. She'd be like, who the fuck's this guy talking to me? Why does he know my name? <laughs> he was recognizable enough. 
Man, we get to meet a lot of cool players. We actually just finished hanging out with Ken on Revival for a little bit. Talked to them about, quite frankly, a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Leia did, Leia did the breakfast cup me. Yeah. And they came over. So. Well, I tried to wake her up, in fairness. Yeah, that's true. Tried to make up for the past exclusions. Dude, it's like, yeah, it's not like, man, I can't wait to find all the Koreans and just completely rub it in Zombie Goat's face. It's the master plan. I guess I'll probably do like a separate vlog about it, or maybe just talk about it on stream, but the two London revision guys, like, I liked that hardcore. I got to have dinner with a lot of the cool players, like Pult, Jadong, Hero. I'm not bragging, don't hurt me. <laughs> um, you know, Hyun and Revival this morning for breakfast and stuff. Uh, I think Violet was probably one of the. Violet Select by the handsomest dudes to they, meet in real life. They dress very nice. Yeah. Like, they got good sense, they're fit. It's like, yeah, dude, really fit. give me a chance here. <laughs> I just feel bad being around you. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. They're nice. Actually, Violet's the one who recommend. I, I've never been to uh, was it KF Chang's or PF Chang's. KF Chang's. He was like, "You need to get the spicy kung pao chicken." I was like, "I don't know how to do all the spicy food." He's like, "Don't trust me. Do it. Mm. So good. It was so good." I thought I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Good job. Uh, me and some of the lesser people. Lesser people, I put in air quotes because, wow. like, I meant like non players, is what I meant to say. Like, Ravi, Tempo, really cool meeting up with those guys. A lot of the others, Caitlin, Brent. I guess they're technically players. Yeah, they're pretty much just like hung lesser around. players. <laughs> Got them. We hung around with Gillyweed and her husband. Yeah. Ah, I can't believe Gillyweed, like, I knew she was tiny because you can tell from the scraps. Like, Carl, her husband, guys, like, like the height difference between me and Zombie Grab isn't even close compared to the height difference between Zom or uh, Gillyweed and her husband. But they're the nicest people. I had a little yeah. real blast from hanging out with them all weekend. Yeah. I think my favorite moment so far is Hart and Alicia. I think they're funny. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to put all those videos up too. I mean, this one will probably go up afterwards, so there's no context of what I'm saying now. But uh, we, we bought them lunch. We hung out with them for a couple hours. Taught them tic tac toe. Yeah. We lost Hart for a, long, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Alicia doesn't speak English. Hart was like the only one who like had decent English. Yeah, so. Hart's like, I'll be right back. And then like 20 minutes later, we're like, where's Hart? We don't know how to talk to Alicia. Actually, you know what? It's funny though, because a lot of the ones, like, because uh, a lot of the Korean players we met, their English was eh, at best. Mm -hmm. um, and they knew it. But, like, you know, simple things like pointing and shit, like, it's so good for communication. Like, being a hand talker definitely helps. I wonder how funny they would, like, how funny how amused they would be if I tried to speak Korean to them. I was kind of tempted. Oh, I didn't know you could actually speak Say something right now. Thank you. It just sounded like you're saying, I'm zombie bro. Yeah. They I'm say zombie it really bro. fast. Like, in, uh, like, I guess you know, like, every time, like, I feel like, you know those bad trans, uh, lip reading, uh, blah, bad lip reading things they do? Oh, yeah, like, I kind of want to do like that with, football. like, yeah, like, I kind of want to do that with, like, what you're just saying enough <laughs> for Korean. You're like, yes is, like, meh. So like, that's like what I was saying. It's like the easy ones to pick up. Because like in the interviews, you know, so he's like, blah, 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 and you always hear him go, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> Just like constantly. Yeah. But yeah, but like, I, I, it's amusing. They're always trying to speak English to us. They're trying to speak Korean to them. So they really thought about it that way, yeah. If we, if we tried, they'd probably find it amusing, but they'd also find it, like I guess, endearing is the right word. Yeah. Um, I have something I would really like to do to wrap up the vlog at the school with you. You ever do a thumb war? Yeah. Just so people don't think we're like superimposing each other right now. <laughs> All right, one, two. All right, let's get this. <laughs> Lean forward, you lazy. Shit. All right, <laughs> two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Bow, shake, again. I did not say you If you really stop moving, <laughs> don't do this. I hate when people do this. They're like, still me. You can't. Your thumb's actually so much taller than mine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is what difficult this should be. <laughs> Three second pin time. All right. You've got nails digging into my like other fingers. This is so not fair, guys. Like I'm in excruciating pain. All right, one, two, three. Nailed it. Oh my god, <laughs> like red marks and stuff. I don't know the camera. Pick it up. This is my rock paper scissors. This is what we did, and I won. And they said I was cheating. All right, so on, like so, like rock paper scissors or like rock paper scissors shoot. Shoot. The rock, shoot? paper scissors shoot. All right, and make sure you can. All right, best 